Hi, it's Anne again from Great Gifts Across America, and I'm at the New England Maid Show in Portland, Maine, discovering great gifts. And one of them is a company called Maine Warmers, and it's owned by Betsy Hanscom. And uh, I'll just turn this over to you, Betsy. I will tell you how I got started, and that was when my husband had a bad back, and I ended up making one of these for him. A woman, a friend of mine, had shown me one, and so I was on my way to the drugstore to buy him an electric heating pad, and I got thinking about all the wires involved and how we'd have to, you know, if he wanted to move around, he'd have to plug it into different places in the house. So I called my friend, and my friend said, oh yes, you make these with cattle beans. And so I called Agway, and Agway said, hmm, what do you want these cattle beans for? And I said, I would like them to make a heating pad. And they said, oh, use corn. It's a lot cheaper, and it, it works really well. That's what people make them of. So uh, I made a flannel bag for my husband, and he used it on his back spasm, and he was amazed at how much it helped him recover from this back issue yeah. and and he was thrilled that it was portable he was thrilled that he could take it to bed and not worry about having an electrical element on his back he could just fall asleep um, and he didn't have to fill a hot water bottle well I thought I could sell these on the side but it turned into a regular business yeah and then I took some art skills that I had developed over the years I was an illustrator and I um, started making little animals. So I started with a sheep and a little hot dog and a little dachshund dog. Let's take a look at these uh, animals which I think are exquisite over here on the shelf. Um, we have the sheep and then if you could point out some of the others. This is a little dachshund neck warmer. We call him the, do the hot dog and he's real good. They also make good bed warmers and hand warmers. We do actually have a pair of hand warmers, oh, hand warmer oh. mittens that we make. And, um, and we have a, yeah, little, little cats, seals, whales, black bears, polar bears. Um, it's just Our newest product is a frog for this, that's on the new products table out at the show. Um, the other one that has made a a big splash, so to speak, is the owl. Um, these fabrics are made in North Carolina. They're, all of our products are made in Maine, in Scarborough, Maine, by professional stitchers. It's a real quality product. And, and these are all for food. Oh, the polar bear, yes. Polar bear. Yeah. Oh my god. Do children use these when they need to have some... They generally love them to take to bed with them at night. They're warm, especially in the winter. They're warm, they snuggle up to them. My grandchildren use them when they come to visit, and they use them at their own house too. Yeah. And I have a good friend who used to help me at trade shows, and all of her grandchildren, she has several, when she goes to visit her grandchildren, she said, I know when they're getting ready for bed because I hear the microwave go off. Yeah, um, thank heavens for the microwave because this is how the heating pads are heated. That's right. Typically, how long are they in the microwave? They're in the microwave for a minute and a half. And all of these products can be frozen and used as gentle ice packs. Uh, they aren't as harsh as a bag of frozen peas or a bag of ice. Now what about laundering? What is the procedure there? Every, every product um, has a Velcro opening and so you can you can open it up for an occasional washing. Well, um, if you would like information, as Betsy was saying, about how you might purchase these really wonderful, practical, beautiful warmers, just click on the link below and that will take you directly to Betsy's website. And if you have a suggestion for a great gift of the week, please leave a comment below. And if you've not yet subscribed to Great Gifts Across America, please do that as well. Thank you, and thank you, Betsy. Thank you very uh -huh. much, Anne. Thanks. I appreciate it.